Hey everyone, welcome back to How to Starbound. In this episode, we're going to be covering how to upgrade your equipment and boss battles. Alright, so we're going to start with upgrading your equipment. Upgrading your equipment is essential to moving forward in the game. Every threat level planet has a different set of armor. Actually, it usually has two sets of armor up until you reach uh, threat level 5. Threat level 5 usually has one set because that part of the game from then on is kind of unfinished since the game is still in beta. Anyways, uh, usually you'll start with making, uh, you know, copper armor is the first tier, and you're going to use your copper armor to upgrade into s iron armor. Now, um, when you're upgrading your armor, always make sure that you take off your equipment when you're upgrading to the second tier, because you don't want to have to make two sets of copper armor just to upgrade it into iron armor, because the iron armor itself consumes your copper pieces. Another thing that's very important to upgrade is your weapons and your equipment, such as your pickaxes. Pickaxes are really easy to upgrade. It's probably going to be the first thing you're going to want to upgrade in the game. It allows you to mine faster, and it just, you know, overall saves you time. So, you start with a stone pickaxe, then you go to copper, then you go to silver, gold, platinum, and then finally diamond pickaxe. After that, you're not going to need to upgrade your pickaxe until, I believe, threat level 4 when you can start making drills which are slightly faster, but not too much. They're just really expensive pixel-wise. Now on to the fun part. Currently, there are four bosses in Starbound. The first one is the only one I'm going to be showing you in this video. It is the Penguin in the UFO. I forget his name. It's like Pete the Pirate Penguin or something weird. Anyways, in order to summon this boss, you need to make the Distress Beacon, which takes a bunch of, like, it's like five of each bar, and instead 20 iron bars and a bunch of pixels. Not too hard to craft if you've been just going around mining things on the surface of a couple planets. You should be more than well stocked. So what you're going to do is after you've uh, created your distress beacon, you're going to throw it down and activate it with E like you would interact with any sort of crafting station. And the boss should uh, summon right out of that. He's really simple, not too hard. He is a ranged enemy. He'll float above your head, shoot beams down at you, summon other little penguins to attack you on the ground and in the sky. Uh, his only real dangerous attack is when he will temporarily go invisible, and then he will appear above your character and try and smash you with his ship by crashing down on you. It's not too difficult to dodge. If you've got the energy dash blueprint already at this point in the, the game, then you should be able to easily dodge it. As soon as he goes invisible, wait about half a second, jump in the air, and then just dash left or right. You should easily avoid it. Other than that, I mean, if you have a gun, this fight becomes a lot easier, as you can see. Uh, if not, the bow will do just fine. It is possible to trap this guy, but there's really no need to since he already is very easy. Alright, and one last quick thing before I end the video. I would like to briefly talk about the next boss. The next boss in the game is the robot. Uh, you must create all of his different parts and then combine them into the inactive robot in order to summon him. I'm only going to talk about him because he's probably the most difficult to summon of all the bosses. It takes a lot of steel bars to make his body parts. Uh, the hardest one to make is his head. You need an inactive, or you need a artificial brain to make this. And the only way to get this is by first crafting the brain extractor, and then going around killing enemies with the brain extractor. And they have a very small chance to drop a intelligent brain. Most of the time, they'll drop a inferior being, brain. You need a superior brain. Uh, the easiest way to do this is if you have your home planet still set to an alpha planet, which you probably should at this point. Um, just run around get the monsters weak enough and then you can shoot them with the brain extractor half health usually can insta kill them from there on but after a while it gets annoying eventually you'll get it and then you can make the inactive robot and fight the next guy that one's a little more tricky but i'll make a video about him so it won't be too hard for you guys thanks for watching like favorite and subscribe if you guys want to see more and